the provisions of the order really narrowed down the problems that we in law enforcement were having with the bar. Cambria County District Attorney Kelly Callahan today saying the changes made to a Johnstown bar last year are still working even after numerous incidents, including two deadly shootings in as many years. Latest happening in its parking lot Sunday night. Joshua Cambrick has been charged with criminal homicide. He's accused of shooting Tony Phillips outside of Edder's Den Sunday night. Another man, Jeremy Woodard, is also charged in connection to the shooting. Police say he drove the getaway car. Although the bar has been the scene of several incidents, the DA says she has no issues with it staying open. Maria Miller's been working that story and has more tonight. Maria? Well, Marty and Jen, if you remember, Edder's Den was shut down and padlocked early last year by the county sheriff's deputies, and it wasn't reopened until changes were made in March. Changes, the district attorney says, are still in effect, and the reason why she doesn't see the need, even after another deadly shooting, for the bar to be shut down. We have to go through a legal procedure um, and be able to establish a case to have the bar shut down. Even after two fatal shootings within two years, the latest happening in the parking lot Sunday night, Camberry County District Attorney Kelly Callahan says there's not enough reason to have Edwards Den shut down. None of the individuals involved in this last night entered that bar or were patrons of that bar. Um, for some reason, it occurred in the parking lot, but uh, this did not stem from inside the bar and lead outside. Uh, we're trying to work out the reasons, finding out the reasons why it happened there. The bar itself has been the center of controversy the past several years. Callahan herself calling it a nuisance bar just last year, even filing suit, asking the court to shut it down. But before a judge could make a ruling, both sides reached an agreement that included the bar closing an hour earlier, swiping all customers' IDs and installing surveillance cameras both inside and out. Ironically, Ironically, it was those new cameras the police say captured Sunday night's shooting and will now help with their investigation. You can say that video evidence will play a major part, not the only part, but a significant part in this case. Callahan says the owner continues to cooperate with police, and until their agreement comes to an end, she has no problem with it staying open. If any of these uh, provisions that were consented to continue to be a problem, we would have the avenue to go back into court. But they haven't been a problem. Now, again, police say they don't know of a motive in last night's shooting, nor do they know how the three men knew each other. Both Woodard and Cambrick remain behind bars tonight. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.